In order to put this in our website web page, now I'm going to go to iWeb, okay, and open up iWeb. Okay, this one here is our football pool, and what we're going to do is we're going to take and change this now. So we're going to take and, and delete this through my finder to movies. This is our demonstration one. This is the one we just made. So I'm going to take and click that on, and I'm going to take and move it out here onto the screen. So I have my rah-rah football demonstration. For me, it's always easier for me to move it to the screen because then I can find it. I always have a hard time sometimes locating it. So if I just drag it out to the screen, I can take it back into put it where I want to very easily. Okay, so I'm going to close this up here. And then now I'm going to take and come to my rah-rah football pool and bring it into, into iWeb. Before, we were limited to 200 pixels. While we're in iWeb, we actually can take and shrink this. Oops, we need to take and go to the inspector. Okay, what we want to do is unconstrain this so that our picture actually takes up uh, the space that we have. Okay, we're going to make that a thousand. Okay, bye. I like, we're going to make it 150. Okay, so we're going to bring this down. It's going to be 150. So we're going to get the inspector. And we're going to go over to QuickTime here because QuickTime is the one that's running our movie for us. Okay, there's this little icon down here that's uh, checked that says Show Movie Controller. We want to uncheck that. And automatically autoplay, we want that to exist. Just close this up now. So we've removed the, um, the thing down be below here to allow us to start and stop this. So what's going to happen is this is just going to continuously play. Now... Um, you can see I, I didn't take these out when I took the photo of this here, so you have these little things that indicate that there's a link. In reality, there's really no link. Okay, so what we want to do next is take and publish this. So I'm going to take and hit publish and continue, and this thing will publish to the internet. You can use your own imagination to create whatever you want to for your own banner, and then you can take and make it in Keynote, and then bring it into iWeb and these things just work absolutely fine. I found it works good on Internet Explorer. You know, Safari, I have not tested it on I have not tested it on um, Mozilla. Okay? At least you can take and see what can be done with Keynote in creating banners. Now this is just the beginning for me.